Hey guys, I'm Josh and welcome to my channel Video Epo. I've made a chicken pen and this chicken pen is about 12 feet in length. The walls are 3 feet and the center part is about 4 and a half feet. Now this is one of the biggest things I've ever made in my life. I don't want to waste your time so I'm going to say this up front. This is not going to be a tutorial. I don't have part list, I don't have cut list, I don't have plans or anything. I just had an idea and I went about that idea and this is what I have accomplished. The reason for posting this video is because I completed the entire structure all by myself in my spare time and if I can do it, you can do it. Also, I have posted a video where I show you how to make a quail cage with loaded features. So if you watch this video and the other one, you may find a lot of ideas on how to make your own chicken pen. With all that said, let us dive into the video. For the cheapest source of wood, pallet wood is the most viable option. The thickness of these planks is roughly 3 quarter inch. I am choosing to work with this thickness is because my nail gun can only accommodate brad nails of 30 mm. I am going to cut square runners from these planks and I do so by placing the planks vertical and adjust the fence of the table saw. This way, all the four sides of the runner will be of the same size. Then I rip the planks into square runners and I need approximately 100 of them. Using a miter saw, I cut most of the pieces to a length of 3 feet. For this project, I felt the corner clamps were a waste of time. So I made a template with scrap pieces of wood. I would lay the runners on the floor, arrange them and hit them with a nail gun. The outer dimension of the frames are same, but the partitions are a bit different and you will know why. As for the structure of the chicken pen, uh, it is made out of a uh, lot of panels. I mean, I made panels which are 3 feet by 3 feet. and. Uh, the top part will be uh, like say 3 feet plus 1.5 inches and that's because I did not compensate for the material thickness. So those kind of add up and 1.5 uh, inches by uh, multiplied by 4 is 6 inches that kind of adds up another half feet which is uh, the reason why we have a 2.5 feet here. The panel, the side panel, the top panels and the other panels are all of the same size except for the partition is a little different. The partition here is like this because I wanted to introduce the feeding system and I made a separate video on how to make a quail feeder. I'm going to adapt the same design but uh, I was in a bit of hurry to move the chicken in inside. So the top is a little different. The partition on the top is a little different and I've kept doors on the top here. And this is because I wanted to access the food feeder and the water feeder. I open this up like this and uh, the food feeder is hanging by a rope so I can take it out like that. There's a hook, hook here, I'll take it, I'll refill it, put it back in there and kind of slide it right there and there it sets. Close the door again. The long sides of the chicken pen have four panels in a row. Right now the structure is too wobbly to stand upright. So I got some cutaway scrap wood and nailed it to the bottom of the panel so that it can function like a makeshift stand. Now, I need runners double the size of the previously cut runners. So, I simply place two runners side by side and then set the fence and repeat the process. These runners would bridge and hold the two side pieces in position.
Most of the scrap wood pieces which could be reused were cut to a 45 degree mitre cut and were nailed as an additional support on the corners. A few runners were cut at a 45 degree along the length. This way the roof can sit comfortably on the side walls. I managed to place the roof and we are almost done with the cage. I made a door on one end so that I could go inside the cage if necessary. The hind side of the cage has a nesting box which again is made of pallet wood. The chicken, they don't go sit in the corner or anything. They kind of uh, climb up and they all perch on the, this part here. I don't know what it's called. So they all perch here and uh, when they have to lay egg, they go to the egg laying chamber and uh, the day, during the day, they eat food from the food feeder and the water feeder and they are just all happy there. I guess so. Not that they complain. The top part of this chamber is uh, connected using some hinges so that I can open this as a lid and uh, access the eggs from there. So if you open this inside, you'll find that there are three different chambers. I placed a, a plastic or a wooden egg. So the chicken are now getting used to it and I'm harvesting all the eggs from in this place only. There is ample space here. So why encage the chicken? Why can't we let them as a free range birds? There are a couple of reasons for that. One is chickens are predators. They kind of gourmandize on anything they see. I mean, they eat a lot of plants. And I've seen, I witnessed a bunch of chicken attacking a banana tree and then they just killed it. So, garden and chicken, they don't go together. They will eat up all the sprouts or all the leaves or something like that. And uh, there are other animals that prey on chicken too, like, like cats, there are mongoose and there are stray dogs. When the rooster chases the chicken for some reason, and if it flies over the fence, it simply lands up in the mouth of a street dog and it just gets killed. And <laughs> that's a loss, that's a big loss for you, right? So these are the couple of reasons where I wanted to engage them and I'm not going to engage them permanently. I will let them graze a couple of hours in a day between four or six and as the sun sets, they all go back to the chicken pen automatically. There are a couple of things that I had in mind before starting this project and the first one is obvious, it's the budget. I wanted to make something which is inexpensive. I wanted to have access to material that I can find in my local market. And two, uh, tomorrow if the neighbors move in because uh, this is the neighbor's plot and if they build a house here and if they have objection for raising chicken, I don't want to regret uh, letting it go. I wanted to build something that can be easily dismantled and disposed of without any regrets. So this is how I made my chicken pen and I hope that you got something out of this video. If you have any questions, feel free to pop them in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer. I'll see you in my next video. Until then, bye-bye.